Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Hakuna La Planta. My name is Kevin and today is going to be a plant chore video. I've had no time this week to film a video, so I'm sorry if y'all don't like plant chore videos, but that's what you get in today. I did get a lot of good feedback from you guys for my first plant chore video, even though I was very frustrated and I was over it. And I think I said I didn't know if I was going to do another one again. But here we are. Um, I have not looked at my plants in three days. I've been so busy. I have not. I'm scared because like I feel like there's like hidden things that I'm not seeing. And yeah, I don't know. I'm probably going to top up a lot of my plants in Pawn and Lekka, do some like propagation situations as per usual. And I got a few plants in the mail yesterday and I got home so late that I couldn't open them. So I guess there's going to be like a mini unboxing. As you can see, I have nothing planned. So get ready for a chaotic video. I want to say first, thank you guys so much for the support in the philodendron collection video. Um, I've listened to y'all and I'm going to do Hoyas next. I don't know if it's going to come out next week, but we will see. So before I start this video, if you're new here and you like these kind of videos, I would appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel. And also follow me on Instagram if you like plant pictures. I post pictures every single day. So I guess we'll start off with the unboxing. I'm just thinking now I'll do that first just because they've been in boxes for a little longer than I like. And then after that, we'll go through all the things I need to do. So let's go. Okay, so we have three packages. One of them is a beneficial mite or beneficial insect. So yeah, I guess here we go. We'll start off with the beneficial mite. I think it's called hypothesis hypothesis what is it i want to say hypothesis it's not that hold on so i'll just talk a, a little bit about this mite i guess as i open the box so i use this mite to kind of control uh fungus gnat larva different stages of thrips spider mites and also although not like detrimental to your plant uh springtails i just bought more because i have to make more soil so um usually when i mix soil Obviously I don't trust the soil and what kind of pests um, are living in it. So I tend to, every time I'm making a new soil mix, buy this beneficial insect just because they are soil dwelling. And yeah, so these bugs are from a company in Canada. It's called Grow Live Biologicals. And so I bought the biggest size. <laughs> so this is five, I cannot speak already. This is 50,000 mixed population of Stratiolaps skim skimitis. <laughs> um, they're also called this name right over here. I get a lot of questions about pest control and um, I've kind of held off just because I don't feel like I'm qualified enough. Okay, so I guess I'll sprinkle a little bit in a container and then I'll see if I can get a close up, but they're really small. Okay, I'm just gonna keep this still if you could see anything moving. Okay, yeah, I could see a few little critters moving. So those are the bugs, they live in the soil and yeah. So I would basically take a little bit of this and sprinkle it on top of my plants and soil. And then also I kind of sprinkle it on my big bin of my potting mix. But let's go and open the other two packages. This plant, wasn't necessarily a wishes plant at all. This one's from the plant shop, Canadian Rare Plant Shop. And so let's open the box. I'm a little scared. Oh my God, broke the box. So here we are. They ship all their plants in soil. And yeah, so let's get all of this unraveled. I forgot to mention that this is an Anthurium. It is the Anthurium Waterburianum and oh my gosh so excited okay wow 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 these are so pretty oh my gosh okay so this is the anthurium waterburianum and look how gorgeous these these leaves are i have often seen very small versions of this plant and also often um hybrids between the waterburianum which is this one and the waraquianum 
Uh, and yeah, oh my gosh, look at her. I'm so mad. There's four leaves. Wow, and even the small leaves are like so cute. They kind of do have that wear a queen vibe. But yes, I'm so excited. Okay, and the third package and the second plant or plant package is from North Shore Tropicals. I have bought from this place for a very long time. And yeah, I like their plants. So this company ships their plants wrapped in sphagnum moss. And oh my gosh, I almost forgot what I ordered. So I have two plants in here. So the exciting thing about this package is that there is a wishlist plant in here and Ooh, oh my gosh, ooh. Let's just see what this one is. So nicely wrapped. Okay, are y'all ready? <gasps> y'all. Okay, so this isn't the wishlist plant, but a plant that, again, I've had my eye on. Um, so this is, oh my God, I love it. Okay, so this, <gasps> there's a new growth point, y'all. There's a new growth point. Um, I'm just so excited about that because, okay, first of all, oh my God, I'm panicking. <laughs> This is the Philodendron Splendid. So this is the hybrid of the Philodendron Melanochrysum and the Philodendron Varicosum. Okay, so North Shore Tropicals were selling like mid cuttings of this plant and I was a bit hesitant, uh, but I was like, do you know what? I'm going to buy one with three leaves and then propagate it, but guys. <laughs> okay, so gorgeous three leaves over here. Uh, cosmetic damage, which is fine. I really don't care about that once I get a plant in the mail. But look at this new growth point. Are you joking? So you could see <laughs> that the plant was chopped here. And then right below, there's a node that's activated with a new growth point. Are you kidding me? <gasps> I'm freaking out. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay, that's one. Oh my gosh, oh my god, I'm like in shock and pleasantly surprised and I thought it was just gonna be, you know, the part where it's cut and then no new activated, um, you know, plant situations, but this one has one, so maybe I won't chop her. Maybe I'll just keep her the way she is. But yeah, the philodendron, splendid. Okay, the next one is a wishless plant. So, okay, y'all don't even know how excited I am. I've wanted this plant for two years. Oh my God, I see a leaf. Okay, I wanna try to reveal it with you guys so I could share this moment. Okay, ready? <laughs> okay, so here she is. Again, it's an anthurium. <gasps> no, no. Okay, okay. Wait. <laughs> this leaf is so fat. Oh my gosh. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, 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 okay. Here we are. Oh my God, here we are. Okay, let me remove this. Okay, y'all know what this is. This is the Anthurium Regal. This is the Anthurium Regal. Oh my gosh, I've wanted this plant so badly. And here we are, we're together now, we're together. So, wow, this one is so fat. I love her, oh my gosh. And I'm assuming this one was a leaf that maybe was imported within, that's why it looks a little older and a bit crunchy. And this one is just so gorgeous. Look at the veining, everyone. Okay, so I'm going to leave these ones in moss just for, for a few days. I don't want to disrupt anything. And then I'll transfer them when I have the time, I guess. But yeah, oh my gosh, so exciting. Okay, so we're in my sink. We have all of the plants here. I'm just going to run just um, room temperature water over the leaves just to get rid of some of, some of the stuff. And then after that, I'm going to spray the insecticidal soap that I talked about in the other plant chore video. Okay, I use this Safer's brand um, insecticidal soap. 
and I only use this when I first first get the plant. So I'm just pumping it up. And we're just gonna coat the leaves with the solution. Okay, so now I'm going to basically take these little ones and I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit on all my soil plants. Uh, I'll just show here just because my soil, my soil plants are everywhere and it's going to be really difficult. So I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit over each pot and yeah. So yeah, I don't really have a set amount that I put in each pot, but I just kind of see that there are some critters crawling after I pour it, and yeah. Okay, so next I'm going to look at my Syngonium collection. Um, Syngoniums grow really quickly, so I tend to take a lot of cuttings just to make more. Okay, so I recently put a lot of cuttings in Lishu's Upon. And yeah, I think there are maybe a few that I can chop right now. So I don't know if y'all can see, but this long stem over here has a few notes. So we're just going to make a chop over here. Three, two, one. Oh, it hit me in the face. Keep this node and then I'll keep this cutting the one with the green leaf as two nodes. So I'll cut, I'll cut here, three, two, one. And then we'll just keep the top cutting like that. Okay, so there's another one that's getting out of control and it is this one right over here. I'm just gonna cut right over there. It's not focusing with three, two, one. Okay. And I thought I was gonna get through this part without y'all noticing this gigantic war wound, I guess. Um, I had an accident with a pair of scissors and I just kind of sliced my finger open. So I am so sorry that this is so distracting, but we're just gonna have to deal with it for this video. Okay, and I think I'm gonna keep it like this just because the nodes are very close to each other. And why not? Okay, I think this one is good for now. Let's move on to the long pot. Okay, so I put all my Syngonium elbows that are in Lekka into one pot, so here they all are, and yeah, Ooh, spilling everywhere. How full is this? Okay, so this one that's waving at y'all in front of my face, I'm going to chop that one, and I'm just going to chop it down here, three, two, one. So this one specifically has pretty much reverted, um, but that's okay. Like I said in another video, um, I don't have a green one, so it'd be nice to grow a green one. I'm just gonna make more chops, three, two, one. Okay, so I guess that's about it for this one. Okay, <laughs> so this was a little unplanned, but like I said, I haven't really looked at my plants in like two to three days. So I noticed on my top shelf, I have one of my Pareso Verdes. It was the tall one that I showed y'all in the first part of the Philodendron collection video. It has toppled over, and I think the main stem is like snapped in half. Let's see. It's on my top shelf. I'm gonna go grab it now. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, um, it was like this, and now it's like this. What happened? Okay, y'all are gonna hate me, but I'm, I'm gonna propagate both plants here. <laughs> I showed y'all that I have two propagations already, and I mean, this plant's fully green, so I think we're okay to do that. We're going to chop here, three, two, one, and here, three, two, one. Here's what we're left with, super cute. And y'all, it's the growing season. We're supposed to propagate plants right now. Okay, this is hilarious. Look at this leaf. I mean, gorgeous, but like, what is it? doing i think when it fell the leaf was bending towards the light maybe but let's just make a chop up here three two one already another one here three two one 
third cut, three, two, one. <laughs> and lastly, the one over here, three, two, one. Okay, <laughs> second one, same situation. Let's just make the chops right now. Okay, so that's that for now. I'll throw them into water after, after they've calloused over. Okay, so now I'm just gonna relax a little bit. We'll try to relax, I'm a little bit stressed, but I'm just going to water my plants that are in soil, uh, water my plants that are in pond, and then I've been starting, just because it's getting real hot outside, really quick, really, really fast in Toronto at least, um, I've been topping up my uh, nutrient reservoirs of my Leca plants twice a week and I know that's really weird but it's I just put less in the reservoir just so obviously I don't have the pot overflow but I'm noticing because it's so hot um okay this is an example we're in the corner of the room so it's not really true for over there but we're at 59 percent humidity and then 76.6 degrees Fahrenheit that is 24.8 degrees Celsius so because it's warmer sunnier your plants are using more water specifically obviously more nutrients but because of that um, the nutrients in the reservoir could kind of get a little too concentrated so I like to do this uh, twice a week uh, just top it up with normal tap water so like the last video, I'm just gonna do a little time-lapse thing. Um, oh, I was gonna show you guys these pots. They're great. Um, I'll put a link in the description below. I have a lot of my plants that are in soil uh, in these self-watering pots. So there's usually like, I want to say a buoy. Would you call it a buoy? Like a buoy, the red thing over there that floats and there's like a minimum maximum. Um, I like to keep it a little over the midpoint. So I just take my watering thing, <laughs> my watering wand, and I just, whoop, that was too strong, okay. Let me just try to, okay. And then y'all will see it rise. And I'm not too worried about this alocasia. Uh, this is my alocasia golden bone. Alocasias are very, very thirsty. So we're just gonna see what happens. And then the same here, I put all my Syngonia mojitos all in one pot of pond. It's in the same pot. And I'll show you here. She's at the mid midway point, but I'll just top her up with some water just because I know Syngoniums, they are thirsty. Okay, so I'm just gonna do that with all of this right over here okay side note i am drinking a americano i don't know if you would call it americano it's basically just three shots and like a little bit of hot water um and it's a dory mug um i know ellen's canceled i think but we still love dory i don't really keep up with pop culture so i don't know if she's actually canceled but okay also just to help me relax um i'm listening to the season finale two seasons man they're amazing. Becca, Nicole, Adam, so good. Um, yeah, I'm just going to listen to it while I do this, just to calm myself down while I drink some coffee. And yeah, amazing. Okay, we are here <laughs> and I'm so happy that I, oh my God, I forgot you. <laughs> Sorry guys, <laughs> I forgot to do my Monstera Saltipicata. Okay, hold on. Okay, so we are about done with all the watering, which is great. And I guess I'll see you guys in the next task. I have no idea what I'm gonna show you guys next. Okay, so the last thing I'll show you, um, I recently got some Hoyas from Crystal Star Nursery. And a thing that I do when it comes to Hoyas is when I first get it, um, I usually, if there's enough stem, 
I chop it in half. So I think I'm gonna do this with this plant. So this is the Hoya, okay. I started freaking out because I have a Hoya Hanie. I don't know what to say, but that one is the pink flowers. This one, y'all, is the yellow flowers. Oh my gosh, so here she is. Yes, there's a <laughs> yellow leaf, but that's okay. Let me just take her off, cute. And because there's this stem over here, I'm just going to cut there and propagate it. So here we are, three, two, one. So there's this one. I'm gonna wait for it to callus over. So this is the, <laughs> gosh, I cannot say these names. Hoya CV Pachawalawarlii. <laughs> I'd even, I, that wasn't even close. What was, what was I saying? Okay, we're gonna make a cut here. Right over here, three, two, one. Oh my God, it's like not going through. Ooh, here we are. Okay, so the next one is the Hoya Lobii Black. And I think I'm gonna make a single chop right over here. Oh God, right over here. And I think that's it. Okay, apologies. <laughs> um, I wasn't gonna put a video, a second video out this week, but I was like, do you know what? I have a lot of things to do and this was only a fraction. I think this was like a fourth of what I need to do with my plants. Um, but I need to edit this video and just get it up for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, I will be putting a Hoya collection video. This was kind of a sneak peek, my new Hoyas over here. And if you've made it to the very end, thank you guys so much. I greatly appreciate it. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.